Hey there, I'm Jen. Welcome to my shop, Sentimental Wood Art. Come along and join me on my woodworking journey as I create things that just touch my heart and make me smile and learn to get more creative with each adventure and project that I dive into. Can't forget my puppies since I'm a dog walker. I hope you find something that generates an idea for you. If you've seen some of my old videos, you know I have a wreath out front that's ginormous and I switch it out for the seasons. And we all have to have our little quirks and sci-fi is mine. I love Star Trek and Star Wars. So I had to do a May the 4th be with you um, for my wreath. I had this idea where I wanted to do a card and I think I would just do, I don't know that I would do this design again for my card, but I found this pointer laser at the dollar store and I was going to use it as a cat toy. But then I thought, what if I made a card out of this? So, and then you have that. And if you put a piece of paper over it, look, it's the lightsaber. Let's see if I can get my hands out of the way so you can see it. Now you sort of get the idea. So I have to figure out how to get this to work in card format. It's pretty thick. So that's a big, big card. So I'm not sure. I messed around with the lightsaber idea for quite a bit, realizing that it's too big to do a card, but I do have a plant stand on my front porch that I thought, oh, that might work if I come up with a different design and have an actual lightsaber that lights up. So I got to work on my design. I googled Star Wars silhouettes and found this wonderfully layered design and it had the perfect lightsaber element to it. I played around with it a little bit trying to figure out how I would add the saber without it getting too messy. Has anyone ever noticed when you create a saying in Inkscape and there's multiple words and you want to shift one word, you can't do it with the other words attached. You have to select that one word, pull it out of the image to the side, almost off your paper, and then shift it to get it to go where you want to go. I don't know if there's an easier way to do this. If anyone's experienced an Inkscape, I'd love to know the answer. I never quite could get the lightsaber lit up effect to work the way I wanted it to. Plus my husband noticed that I stole his straw for his root beer floats. And he was like, are you using that? So I decided to do a different sort of design. Still going on the plant stand, but it's not gonna light up. But it's a multiple layer 
design again, which I really liked and I liked that it did welcome to the dark side. This is always interesting for me, figuring out where, how many places I need to drill. So we have got to drill through Yoda and C3PO. Do these guys need to be attached? Should I make this a little more swoopy? Maybe I'll do like make it a little more swoopy to start with and then maybe do it with pencil, trace it and then see how that goes. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, but I just filled in a line here because I was like, how is the separation between his legs going to show up? There wasn't anything there before. So does that mean I cut him out and this is, he's just attached by that? That's not a lot. Yikes. I also just noticed right by Yoda's staff, we got a floating piece of wood. So I remember when I did Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader, this guy's just floating and glued on. But I think I'm gonna to have to wait to cut this out until the very end because given how keep I keep track of things, I'm gonna lose that piece of wood. This got a little precarious. The cat decided that she wanted to sit on my lap while I was trying to cut this out. So we'll see, it's pretty raggedy. Hopefully I can sand some of the jaggedness out of it because she was very demanding. I'm debating on this. Should I do a circle, sort of like what I did with Yoda here? Or should it just be a square? All right, so I painted the bottom white. Baiting on painting the back as well. I was curious. So this is going to be black. Do you think I should try to do C3PO in a gold? I'm not sure that that would look so great. I should paint a sample piece and then use my gold paint stick and see what that does. I think black and white is probably the better way to go. So I'm gluing this down. I don't feel like I got enough glue on it, but we'll see. We'll let it set. Sometimes I feel like if it doesn't ooze out, then you didn't get enough on, but that's not always the case. If you remember how I tried to leave this leg attached here, well, it broke off. So I had to glue it separately anyway, and his cane got glued separately. Let's let it set and we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. 